Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. the Columbus State University main campus. WRBL's Chuck Williams joins us now live from the scene with the latest. Chuck, what can you tell us? Thanks, Rex. We're on CSU's main campus, as you said. The first thing to probably say is there's no immediate threat. CSU students and family members, parents have been notified through the CSU Cougar Alert. What we do know now, here's what we know. Muskogee County Coroner Buddy Bryan told us that this is a par an apparent homicide suicide. We, uh, to give you an idea of where it is, that's Lenore Hall off to my left. That's Clearview Hall, the largest residential hall, one of the largest residential halls on campus, and it's an incoming freshman hall. This is Clearview Circle. I'm standing in. The crime scene is just beyond me off of my left shoulder. It is a vehicle. They are working own that vehicle at that scene. Right now we know Columbus Police Department's here, Columbus State University's here, and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation has just showed up. So it is an active scene. It has been active crime scene since about 10 o'clock this morning. Again, Muskogee County Coroner Buddy Bryan says it's an apparent homicide, suicide. Right now, I am joined by Michael Tulier. Michael is the senior spokesperson for Columbus State University. What can you tell me right now about what has happened here and what's going on? Chuck, you've done a good summary of, of the situation here on campus right now. As you said, we've, um, we've been working this since about 10 o'clock. Our police department, of course, were the first responders to that situation. They notified senior leadership and, of course, then reached out to our partners um, and, and law enforcement, both with the Columbus Police Department and with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. So now they are just simply doing their work um, with, as you said, the, the immediate threat um, being very isolated and, and being, um, being contained. I mean, that's the thing people are going to want to hear. There's not an immediate threat or anything like that on campus right now, that's correct? Right. That's the most important thing to y'all, right? Correct, right. absolutely. Um, and we're thankful to our um, professionals here in the police department for securing that scene, making that determination, and then, of course, being able to call in our partners here locally and in the state to, to come to our assistance in these sorts of investigations and unfortunate situations. I noticed that Laura Bennett, the CSU police mm -hmm. chief, is down there. It appears to be leading a lot of this. More information will be coming out later today, right? Correct. And these investigations, of course, in partnership with the Columbus Police Department, they will eventually um, take over things, as you mentioned, with the coroner and then with the continuing investigation and be making some announcements on their own. Well, Michael, thank you for joining us. Thank you for the updated information. Right now, we're at Columbus State. To recap real quick, we're on campus, main campus, Columbus State University. There has been an apparent homicide, suicide here off Clearview Circle near the Lenore Hall Annex, not right across from Clearview Hall, a large freshman residential area. There will be a lot more coming out, Rex, later on today, but reporting right now from Columbus State University main campus, Chuck Williams, WRBL News 3, on your side. All right. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you, Chuck.
Good evening, everyone, and thank you for trusting WRBL News 3. I'm Teresa Whitaker. My co-anchor, Phil Scoggins, is off tonight. We have new details coming out of the investigation of an apparent murder-suicide on Columbus State University's main campus. WRBL's Chuck Williams has been on the main campus throughout the day, and he joins us now with the latest. Chuck. Teresa, we now know the identities of the two people who were involved in this murder-suicide on CSU's main campus. The coroner's office has said within the last 30 minutes that 20-year-old Gisela Pierce was a homicide victim. She's from Los Angeles. 25-year-old Nathan, Nathan Nathaniel Janik of Columbus was also found dead on the scene. The coroner's office is calling this a domestic situation. Both bodies will be sent to the state crime lab for autopsy. The investigation was focused on Clearview Circle. That's near Lenore Hall Annex and Clearview Hall, a freshman dorm. The scene was visible from College Drive, which is just off campus. Here's what we know. Pierce's body was found inside a sedan parked near the Lenore a Annex. Janik's body was found nearby outside the vehicle. The Students and parents and faculty were notified via CougarNet, an internal messaging system. CSU says there was never a broader threat to the university's main campus. Columbus State Police and the Columbus Police Department responded to the initial call. The GBI took control of the investigation later in the day. That's not unusual because CSU is a university system of Georgia campus and sits on state-owned property. The on-scene investigation concluded about 3.30 this afternoon. Here's what a university spokesman had to say earlier in the day. Um, you know, our first immediate response in these sorts of situations is to um, craft information for our internal students, employees, whatnot. We use our Cougar Alert system to let them know of any immediate threats, any ongoing um, um, investigations, concerns, or whatnot, how to respond. Classes, for the most part, continued on campus today. The exception, obviously, was Lenore Hall and the Lenore Annex. That's where the science department is located. Reporting from Columbus State University, main campus. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.